everyone, it is Jazz here. Today I'm going to be sharing my readathon to be read for both the Tome Tapple readathon as well as the Audio Bookathon. These readathons are taking place relatively at the same time. The Tome Topple Readathon is taking place from the 13th to the 26th of April, and the Audiobookathon is taking place from the 15th to the 20th, 8th. And since I do tend to audiobook at least some of my Tome Topple choices, I thought it would really work to attempt to do both. I have, of course, linked the announcement videos for both readathons below, so definitely check those out if you want more information. There are a couple of challenges for both readathons that are covered by just doing like a reading habit or accomplishing a goal. That is, of course, to read more than one tome for Tome Topple, and then the audiobookathon has a challenge to read an audiobook or listen to an audiobook for 30 minutes each day. Another challenge that is kind of covered by most of my choices, so I'm not going to pick a specific book for it, is to listen to an audiobook that is 15 plus hours long. On to the books. So I usually only read Le Morte d'Author by Sir Thomas Mallory during Tome Topple. I just need that push because it's a challenging read. Normally I set a goal for reading this so that I don't get overwhelmed by it, but because I'm so close to the end, I think I only have 300 pages or so left in La Morte Author, I'm going to try to finish it this time. So really cheer me on <laughs> in the comments because I want to do this and I think I will feel like I've won whether I finish any other book other than this if I finish it. I've been reading it for five years if you didn't know and you're new to this channel. I'm using this for the challenge of reading an adult novel for Tome Topple and I'm also using this for the challenge of reading a book out of your comfort zone for audio bookathon because is something written in Middle English in most people's comfort zone? I think not. It's in some people's, but it's not necessarily in mine. I still didn't get that. Really? Party games. Party games. Puzzle games. Alexa, stop. <laughs> what is even happening? Next choice that I have is the story of Edgar Sawtale. This I'm only planning to read for Tome Topple. I'm only going to audiobook this if I really feel like I need to. So for this, I'm using it as a cover for the challenge of reading the book that has been on your to be read the longest for Tome Topple because I believe this book was purchased sometime around the time it came out, which it was so many years ago, but I kept forgetting about it. And I do want to read it because my mom says that the writing is really pretty and beautiful and it seems like it's sort of a magical realism. Then my next choice is to do a reread of Jane Eyre in audiobook form because I really like the idea of rereading something for Tome Topple. And it doesn't necessarily cover like a specific Tome Topple challenge, but it is a tome. Now, this also will cover the audiobookathon challenge of reading a favorite book of yours. So, yay! I'm super excited. Another one that I'm just reading for Tome Topple is Hot Gimmick Volume 2 in the Omnibus collection of this. I'm using this for two Tome Topple challenge is the first one is to read a book that is not in a genre you would usually read, which I don't know what you would classify this as, but going by volume one, I would say that it's not something that I normally read, but I'm so intrigued by the insanity that happened in the first volume, then I still picked up the second volume. But it's like one of those books that like made me vaguely uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna say it fits that challenge. And also, of course, this covers reading a book in a series. For the audiobookathon challenge of reading a book that you put down for whatever reason, I'm going to read Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. I don't know why I keep actually I do know why I keep putting this book down. It's because it's a collection of novellas and I just prefer long stories as opposed to short stories. So for some reason this one has been really difficult for me to like get into even though I do enjoy it for the most part. It's just the formatting of it isn't like my favorite thing, which is why I thought I would enjoy it more in audiobook format. So I thought read it for a readathon 
and we will get that baby you know, at least somewhat tackled. Like, I just want to read at least a good chunk of Shadowhunter Academy because me and my friend want to buddy read the new Shadowhunters book when it comes out close to the end of this year. And I am way behind on these books. Like, I need to read this one and, like, three other books before I can do that. All those books are the books that I really feel like I need to tackle and really get into even if I just get a little bit of them read. But there are two challenges in Audiobookathon that I'm kind of going to play by ear and maybe choose something for just in case I get all those other ones done. So those two challenges are to listen to a full cast audiobook and to listen to an audiobook that includes mixed media. I could try to meet those challenges and pick something that meets both of those challenges. In that case, I may try out the book Sadie because it's a fairly popular book. I'm kind of intrigued by it and seeing what that book is like and it is full cast and it does include podcasts in it. I might not even have like a chance to get to a sixth book. So like, I'm not going to worry about it. So that is my to be read for both of those readathons. I'm really excited to give this a go. I am planning on vlogging for the readathons. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a part one after like the first week that's going to be like the first eight days of doing both readathons and then I'll do like the second eight days because in total the reading will run for 16 days. So look out for that. Maybe subscribe, hit that little bell if you're interested in watching a vlog. I also will probably be doing a lot of the Tome Topple Instagram challenges. If you want to check out my Instagram, the link to that is in the description. Wish me luck. I have basically chosen to attempt to read five or six books in the span of two weeks and a lot of them are well over 500 pages. So it could be a total disaster, but I'm choosing to stay positive because most of them are audiobooks so I can listen to them when I'm doing something. Thank you for watching my fabulous people. I will see you all soon. Bye!